Craig Coltman here for Flystream magazine and today we're going to be tying the championship caddis. Now this is a, a wonderful dry fly pattern useful all around the world, very robust uh, so it's literally a fly that you can catch lots and lots and lots of fish on. Uh, the material we'll need today is we're using the Onrex dry fly hook in a size 12. Uh, we're also using the Tywell possum dubbing in the light grey, that's for the body. Grey CDC, we've also got some elk hair, and you can use different colours, that's sort of like a, a mid colour I suppose, as in not too dark, top, not too light, and also some orange floss for the uh, some orange floss for the um, for the butt in the in this fly. Now you can tie these on 12, 14, even down to 16, but 12's a good all round size. Then we're going to put in our orange floss for our little colourful butt on this fly. Tie it in at the front there, loop it over and run it back down to just at the start of the bend of the hook there. That's it. Now we can just cut that off and that'll give us a nice little tag in the fly. Make that tag quite small, we don't want that overly big to dominate the fly. Now we're going to put a bit of wax on this thread, even though these threads are pre-waxed I like to um, add a bit more. And then we'll tie, we'll dab on, we've got here some grey possum. You can use a range of materials here, but the grey possum is a nice material for the body. Just spin that on there. And come up doing a nice even body, nice and thin, as we come forward. There we go. Got a little bit too much on there, we'll just pull that off. Careful not to crowd the head too much with this because we've got a bit of stuff going on with this fly. We've got to get our CDC and elk hair on as well. Now we're ready to stack on top our CDC feathers. So you can do this, you can try to do them in your hand where you stack them all together or you can do them one at a time. I prefer to do them one at a time. So I just get that like that suited on top and just down to the end of the tag. There's one. Also, I like to cut those off at the head as I go. One. This is good because you can, it doesn't really matter what the quality of your CDC is. You can use it all up on this fly. So there's another one. That's it. Now, you can tie them over length and cut the CDC, but I, look, I don't think it matters, but I just like it to have more of a, a natural edge on it rather than the cut edge but people do cut them as well. There's another one, so just stroke, it, stroke them all back so they're all about the same length. Number three. And finally, number four, one more. There you go, that's the fourth one, cut that off as well. Now we're going to go to our elk hair and we're going to cut out a piece probably about the size, bit maybe one to one and a half matchsticks in size. We don't want, it's not as if we're tying this all out of the, the hair because we've obviously got this CDC so we're just going to put enough over the top to cover it. And then we're going to put that into our stacker, our hair stacker, to get everything a uniform length. This elk hair doesn't have much in the way of under fluff in it, so we don't have to pull too much out there, which is convenient. Sometimes there will be a bit of body hair in there, which you need to pull out first. Then we put that hair on top, and the elk hair we want protruding just past the CDC. So sit that up on top. And this is very important now not to move your left hand. So capture that, then pull it down. And put about, what's that, four, five, let's say six turns in there to really capture that in. Then you can transfer your hand to in front and then 
tying in like that and we're actually forcing the butts of the elk hair back down the, uh, the shank of the hook. Then we're going to put in a couple of wick finishes there just to finish that off. Just got that there. You see how that's pushed those butt fibres, those butt ends, they've all now pushed to the back of the fly or up to the back of the fly. Now in this you just want to cut just the butt sections, not the actual tip bits. You get them like this and then put your scissors in there on like a 45 degree angle and cut it like that. And you see that sort of makes like a little tapered head going back uh, and makes for a chunky little little caddis fly, very durable. You can actually catch lots and lots of fish on that fly before it becomes totally waterlogged. Just recently I had 20 fish in a row on that fly and just by hitting it with dry fly shake you can pop it back out there. A very robust fly. That's the championship caddis. Oh, oh, oh.